Right. When millions turned out earlier this month in support of freedom of expression and against the terrorist attack on the magazine, which always tested its limits, few challenge the sweep of emotion. But gradually, a more nuanced view is taking hold here. It began with a commentary by the founder of the magazine, who argued that its editor, Char, who along with others was killed in the attack, had gone too far. I really hold this against you, Char, he wrote. Others suggest that after the firebombing of the magazine in 2011, it was clear the threat was real, yet the editor of Charlie Hebdo, in the name of press freedom, continued to take risks some call pointless. I believe from a moral point of view it is not good to systematically and gratuitously go on the attack. You drift in a useless direction. A public opinion survey taken after the murders of Charlie Hebdo's editors and cartoonists indicates that four out of ten French would agree believing that it's better to be prudent than publish the kind of caricatures of Muhammad that they did. The new editor of the magazine, who was wounded in the terrorist attack and now travels with three bodyguards, says Charlie Hebdo will continue being provocative. But asked about another edition with a caricature of Muhammad, he responded this way. Muhammad is not our obsession. We have other topics of interest. It is more committed to the principles of secularism. But we are not obsessed with Muhammad or Islam. Our vision is broader than that, actually. Maybe one day. We'll see. If it is justified, we will not do it gratuitously. Long before the attack at Charlie Hebdo, comedian Patrick Timsit began plotting his Paris Review entitled, You Can't Laugh at Everything, a send-up of political correctness and community sensitivities. The advertising for the show is a caricature of the comedian dancing with a bomb, a drawing now ordered change by the advertising company. Apparently in France these days, you indeed can't laugh at everything. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.